What did you gather from the last story that I shared with you about my grandson who went to get cucumbers for his grandmother? What did you gather? Hopefully, you gathered the fact that when he had a true purpose, his life was much happier. That's the most important message that I think all of us can gather from that. And there's many other messages that I'm sure that if you gather, they're valuable as well. Some of those messages are, interestingly enough, when I offered him the plate of cucumbers, he just took one. There was a whole plate available for him, but he just took one. Now, in his two-year-old mind, his purpose was to give one person one cucumber. And when he satisfied that purpose, he had another purpose. And that added to his first purpose, and that was to share a cucumber with grandmother again, to do it again. So he came back and got a second cucumber, and then ran that in and gave that to grandma. That worked again. It created happiness and joy in his life and happiness and joy in somebody else's life. The message, another message that you may have gotten from that story is that by satisfying someone else's needs, your purpose is found and you have happy, more happiness and joy in your life. That's another message. He came back the third time, and this time, he satisfied his own needs and desires. He saw that his grandmother liked those cucumbers, and he put one in his own mouth, which satisfied him, and then knew that he could receive one for each of his fists. And as any two-year-old knows, to be truly happy, you need to have both fists filled. Interestingly enough, for our lives as well, we can learn something from that. When we are wanting something, when we are needing something, when both of our fists aren't full to capacity, we often feel that we lack. And that is a message for us as well. There's a message there. Sometimes we need to fill both fists. And when both fists are full, are we satisfied? He, as a two-year-old, was satisfied with both fists filled. He didn't need the whole plate full. He had enough. And in our lives, sometimes we want more than enough. We want more than what's sufficient for our needs. Not only do we want just our fists full, but we want the whole plate. And it's okay if we have the whole plate as long as we share that plate with other people. But just hold them and allow them to go bad or allow them to overfill us or to have more than what we need. It may not be what truly makes us happy. I would suggest at that point to find more people that want what we have and share all that we have. More will come if we share what we have. There's many, many more messages in that little story. What I hope for you is that you take your message that you received, type it in the bottom, type it down there. Tell us exactly how you received the message and what it means to you and share it with everyone. It's part of finding your true joy. It's part of you. And we want you to share yourself with us. Share this video with other people who may need a pick-me-up, who may need to find their true purpose. And share this video with them and help lift their life. In doing that, you will be lifting your own life and sharing your life with others. That is going to give you more purpose and more true joy and more happiness. My name is Keith Allred. I'm a personal life coach, a mentor and a trainer, and a public speaker. 
I help people find better joy and happiness, better relationships, and through that process, find better health in them, in their life, better social connections, and more financial stability. I have a company called Empowerment Trainings, where I train people to do just that. I have a program called Epic Relationships in 90 Days or Less. And I help people get better results from their relationships. I don't know if you can say it that way, not better results. Just better relationships through their own results. And so share my video, like my channel, and follow my next story because I've got another message to share with you. Thank you.